audience members herein, welcome to a production by none other than E. Ferenzi. Nonprofit educational organization today is all in there. 
This scenario came from a book published in 1611 by a man named Flaminio Scala. And he was a man that was driven by madness into Comedia, like the rest of us. Don't you want to be part of that? <laughs> Moments alone. 
alone with the beautiful Eugenia. You only got them back in Broccolino. Oh, eight and a half months ago, what a great few moments that was. <laughs> and now I wish to relive that many times over, a few moments in time. <laughs> and yet, I, I, I can't because her father will not let me get anywhere near her. I can't even get near the house before he comes out and beats me with a stick. Yet what am I to do, faithful servant? Well, you know, your friend, Flavio. Flavio, my brother. Yes, I love Flavio like a brother. <laughs> Yes, you brought him to Broccolino, and he's decided he's going to act insane. Insane? That's crazy! Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, what shall we do? You ask him. I ask him why he's acting. Just my work. Oh, 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 no, that. Oh, we have a problem. No, and no problem is insurmountable. What's the problem? Pantalone sent me to hire a physician to take care of Flaminia. A physician needs a sample of Flaminia's urine. Urine? Why would he need a sample of her urine? So he can figure out what's wrong.
a fever. Oh, oh, I'm sure it's a fever. It must be the fever. There couldn't possibly have any other explanation. Oh, you're just resting to rest. Come back into the house and go down and, like, have some wine. Wine always fixes Wine fixes everything. Yes. Everything. Yes.
Remember that eight and a half months? I remember that time we didn't spend all that much time together because we spent most time with you.
than me be a thousand more only because I was carrying with my other hand their king. You got that right? Thank you. 
drinking song of 1609. Yay! People, join in with me. Martin said to his man, fine, fine. Martin said to his man, who's a fool now? Martin said to his man, fill down the cup and I the can. Thou hast well drunken man, who's the fool now? And you can sing all sorts of stuff like that to make it the 99 bottles of beer of the early 17th century. <laughs> a fleet drink in the sea, who's a fool now? I saw a tree, flee drink in the sea, who's a fool now? I don't know what to sing, it should just rhyme with a beginning. <laughs> Thou hast a well drunken man, who's a fool now? Back to you regularly scheduled fools. <laughs> Go in 
Lavinia and Isabella that I thought they had some kind of plan. Look at what they're thinking. Now, who's out there? Hello. It's just me, Victoria. Just pacing and monologuing like I always do. Uh, well, why don't you come in and have a drink? Victoria, you know that we're not entirely proper. I do have duties to attend to. Oh, well, don't no, come, no, no. I'm getting away from this now. Well, come on in and have a drink together. <laughs> Oh, I love you, but oh, you're so mean to me. 
like this. Non può pregare chi non ascolta, non può pregare chi non ascolta, che la cattiva già non è viva. La vita è digna, la buona, la vita è digna, la buona, la sprezza, chi fa l'amore, ahimè, ahimè, ahimè. Stop with that one verse. <laughs> I wish she listened to me. My goddess loves not. She laughs, she sneers, she jokes, she scorns this would be lover. Alas, my heart.
square lady Bergman, my friend that works in the hospital department, and help her union to disguise herself as a magician. Let her know I sent you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. She's like a mother to me. Yes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
dead. <laughs> the signal is weak. You, sir, stand back on your left foot. Don't put your right foot forward on the ground. Leave that foot. Bend the hip. And now, with your right arm, there's the step. Oh, yeah. In our oh, baby granddad! 